the price of like of lithium and like all the raw materials and the, the battery cells went went crazy. It doubled. Um, like the, the price of cells doubled. Um, price of lithium, I think, went up at almost like like five five fold or like five hundred percent. Most people don't think twice about the batteries powering their gadgets. Phones, laptops, toothbrushes, you name it, they're all running on the same basic fuel, lithium ion. But the real surprise? Over 95% of electric vehicles in the world also depend on this same technology. That number alone tells you how much lithium dominates the energy game. And yet, there's a problem. For all its dominance, lithium ion tech hasn't really leveled up in years. Energy capacity has barely improved. Fire risks are still around. And costs? They've been climbing. That's part of why electric vehicles haven't quite taken over the way everyone expected. They're still too pricey, and many drivers still worry about safety. Even Elon Musk, the guy who made EVs cool again, has been sounding the alarm. He admitted the cost of lithium, along with all the other raw materials inside battery packs, has shot through the roof. Prices for lithium alone have increased by up to 500% over the past couple of years. That's not a tiny hiccup, that's a full-blown crisis if your entire business depends on batteries. So now, even Tesla, the company that built its empire on lithium, is quietly looking for the next big leap. And they might have found it. Leaks from Tesla's research division suggest they're developing a brand new type of battery. Something fundamentally different. Something that doesn't rely on lithium at all. This new battery reportedly uses aluminum, yes, aluminum, and early tests show it could outperform lithium across the board. It's called an aluminum ion battery. And it just might be the breakthrough the EV world has been waiting for. Instead of using lithium ions to move charge around, this battery uses aluminum ions. And here's why that matters. Aluminum ions carry three positive charges per atom, compared to lithium's one. That means, in theory, each aluminum ion can store and move three times the energy. So you get more power in less space. Early prototypes are showing energy densities around 700 watt-hours per kilogram. For context, today's top-tier lithium batteries, including Tesla's own 4,680 cells, max out around 270. That's a huge jump. If you replace the current battery in a Tesla Model 3 with one of these new aluminum ion packs, the range could leap from around 350 miles to over 700. And in ideal conditions, maybe even close to 1,000. Of course, real-world applications are never that clean. Battery packs need structural casing, cooling systems, and other components that reduce total energy output. But even with those adjustments, a 700-mile range is still very possible. That kind of distance changes everything, not just for daily drivers, but for long-haul travel. Beyond range, cost is another game-changer. Lithium is expensive and becoming even more so as global demand explodes. It's also not evenly spread across the planet. Most lithium comes from just a handful of countries, and that's a problem when supply chains get shaky. Aluminum, on the other hand, is everywhere. It's the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust. The raw material used to make it, bauxite, is mined all over the world. That makes it cheaper, more stable, and far easier to scale. Analysts predict that if Tesla can mass-produce aluminum-ion batteries, the cost per kilowatt-hour could drop to less than half of what lithium-based batteries currently cost. That could mean cutting thousands of dollars off the cost of every Tesla. For example, right now, the battery pack in a Model Y costs roughly $10,000. Switching to aluminum-ion could reduce that to around $5,000 or even less. Suddenly, that long-promised $25,000 Tesla doesn't seem so far-fetched. Then there's the issue of charging time. Today's lithium batteries can charge pretty fast. Some models hit 80% in under 30 minutes. But aluminum ion could cut that in half. Full charges in 15 minutes are on the table. That's not just impressive, it's a complete shift in how people use electric vehicles. You could stop for a quick snack and hit the road again fully juiced. Safety also gets a major upgrade. Lithium batteries are notorious for overheating and in worst cases, catching fire or even exploding. That's because lithium is a highly reactive metal. Aluminum, 
by contrast, is far more stable. It doesn't react the same way to temperature spikes or impacts. That means fewer thermal management headaches and much lower risk of battery fires. Now, let's talk lifespan. Most lithium-ion batteries can handle about 2,000 charge cycles before they start to degrade. That usually translates to 3 to 5 years of daily use. But tests on aluminum-ion cells show they can last up to 15,000 cycles. That's closer to 25 to 30 years of use from a single battery pack, which is almost unheard of. Why do they last so long? One reason is that aluminum forms a protective oxide layer naturally. It doesn't corrode or break down the way lithium does. Also, aluminum ion batteries don't develop dendrites, those dangerous little spikes of metal that grow inside lithium cells and lead to short circuits. That alone helps extend life and reduce failure rates dramatically. And let's not forget about recycling. One of the big environmental knocks against lithium batteries is that they're tough to recycle. They contain rare, toxic materials like cobalt and nickel. Aluminum batteries avoid all that. They can be disassembled more easily, and many of the components, especially the aluminum itself, can be reused with minimal processing. It's a much greener, cleaner battery solution overall. No cobalt. No nickel. No lithium. Just aluminum, some carbon-based materials like graphite, and a simple electrolyte solution. Of course, every new technology has its downside. For aluminum ion batteries, the big weakness right now is cold weather. They don't perform well in freezing conditions. That's a major hurdle if you're trying to sell EVs in Canada, Northern Europe, or anywhere that sees harsh winters. But researchers are already working on that problem, and it's likely just a matter of time before a solution is found. If Tesla can overcome that last hurdle and successfully scale up production, this battery could rewrite the future of the entire EV industry. According to insiders, Tesla is already setting up a new production line at a facility near Giga Nevada. The goal is to start manufacturing aluminum ion cells by the end of the year. If everything goes according to plan, the first cars powered by this new tech could roll out in the next couple of years, possibly in a new, affordable Model 3 or Model Y variant designed specifically for cost-conscious drivers. And if that happens, it's not just a win for Tesla. It's a turning point for the whole electric vehicle movement. Aluminum ion batteries could eliminate range anxiety, slash vehicle prices, speed up charging times, and dramatically increase safety, all while using materials that are abundant and easy to recycle. It might be too early to call it a revolution, but the signs are pointing in that direction. Lithium had a good run. Now, something better might be on the horizon. And that future? It could be aluminum-powered.